Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll read Exodus chapter 27, verse 1 and 2. And thou shalt make an altar of shittim wood, five cubits long and five cubits broad. And the altar shall be four square, and the height thereof shall be three cubits. And thou shalt make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. His horns shall be of the same, and thou shalt overlay it with brass. Uh, we read two verses. Uh, last time we have studied about the altar. The altar is the very first thing that you will have to see when you enter the court of the tabernacle. And that's the place where all our sins be washed. That's the first thing we will experience when you enter inside of the faith. And today we will keep talking about the altar. Uh, this uh, verse, uh, verse 1, is saying uh, what this altar is made from. This altar is made from the shittim wood. Shittim wood is acacia tree. So if you see the picture of the shittim wood, it's not really nice tree. Uh, it's not really straight, but it's kind of skinny and it's not really easy for you to use uh, this acacia tree to build something. Uh, if you read the Bible, uh, Solomon, he has uh, brought the uh, cedar tree uh, from the Lebanon. So the cedar tree is really uh, thick and very straight. So it's really good for us to use it to build some building or making something. But this acacia tree is not like that. It looks uh, very skinny and it looks very miserable. Uh, it's look, it doesn't look really nice or great. Uh, Jesus, he was like this. If you read Isaiah chapter 53, it said he didn't have any beauty. If you see uh, Jesus' picture in Catholic churches or many uh, churches, uh, the Jesus in that picture is not real Jesus. He was very skinny. He didn't have any beauty outwardly. But uh, Jesus, he was the son of God. He was the son of God and the king of kings. But he was born in this earth at the most miserable place, which was the stable. We all born, at least in a house or the hospital. But I think any of you who listen to this lecture were born in the stable. Jesus was born where the animal uh, lives. It means he came to this earth in the most humble place with the most humble appearance. Jesus, he didn't take any glory by himself. The reason why Jesus didn't take any glory by himself because he wanted to reveal the God's glory only. When we see Jesus, he wasn't like a shida tree, but he was like a acacia tree, like this shittim wood. This altar, it's also representing of Jesus and the cross of Jesus. Uh, it's the place where all our sins washed. Whosoever come to Jesus, all their sins been washed. Not only for a certain part, but once for all. That's the power of blood of Jesus Christ. And this uh, shifting wood is not only talking about Jesus, but it's also talking about our Christians. Uh, I, when I was uh, young, I wanted to be a, a good uh, Christian. But as I grow up, I could uh, realize that I'm not that kind of good person. Uh, I didn't really want to become a pastor. One day, my, pa uh, my father, he got lung cancer and he uh, was fighting with the cancer. But I was so complaining for the situation that we have. So I cursed my father. 
Stop stupid punk and just go and die! And I cursed him. And then he didn't say anything. And next day he passed away. But uh, right before he passed away, he left one word. Peter, I couldn't do it, but you live for the gospel. He said this uh, twice and he passed away. When I look at myself, uh, I'm not uh, the person who can be a preacher or the leader. Uh, only thing I did in my life was all miserable. When I uh, came back to the church, I uh, used to drink a lot. Uh, I used to study wine because I, I love to drink. On that time, my pastor uh, told me, Hey Peter, I know you are studying wine because you like to drink. It's not good for you, so don't study it. I against my pastor. Pastor, even Jesus is drinking wine, but why I cannot drink wine? And then he was just laughing. And then later on, he made me the teacher of the student meeting. I couldn't understand. You know, I'm not a uh, really spiritual person. But God was leading my life little by little, and He made me a preacher and a pastor. I don't really speak good English. I speak Konglish, which is Korean English. And when I look at myself, like, I don't have a like, great voice, or I don't have a like, great preaching skill. And uh, one day I thought to myself, maybe my, at the level of my preaching is not that good. And I wanted to give up. But one day I read the Bible. It's written, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. It's written like this. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. For ye uh, see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound to wise. And uh, God had cleaned the weak uh, things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and uh, base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that according as it is written, that uh, he that glorieth, uh, let him glory in the Lord. Bible said, God had chose the people who is foolish and who is nobody and who is the despised. Uh, God chose me that as he know who I am. From that day, I, my heart was able to be free from my weakness. The reason why I'm okay to be foolish because God knows that how I'm foolish and He chose me when I'm foolish. It's okay for you to be weak. It's okay for you to have shortcomings. You don't need to try to fix your shortcomings. Apostle Paul he had a pray to God to take his shortcomings. He asked three times. But uh, Jesus, uh, God told Paul that the grace that you have is enough. We are all weak. The reason why uh, it's okay for you to be weak because God knows that you are weak and He chose us as weak. Uh, this altar is uh, made from the wood. 
and this wood is not the cedar tree, but it's acacia tree. It doesn't look really nice. It looks very weak and skinny. Doesn't have any beauty. Jesus was like that. And so do we. Why? Because God, He, wanna, uh, he wants to reveal His glory through us. If you are strong, how can the glory of God to be revealed through you? Maybe you will reveal your glory. The reason why God chose us where, uh, as we weak because He want to reveal His glory through us. If you are weak, you have perfect condition for the glory of God to reveal through you. If you are foolish, you have perfect condition to be wise with the wisdom of Jesus. He has become our wisdom and He has become our justification and sanctification. And He has become our righteousness. Here, this altar is made from the shitting wood. But uh, if you read next verse, it also overlay with brass. Uh, before I have mentioned, this brass is a representing of the judgment of God. So this place, the altar, is the place where uh, we receive judgment of God. But we don't receive it, but our sacrifice receive our judgment for us. And that's the lamb or God. Yes, this is Jesus Christ. Jesus, he have received all the judgment for us. Do you have evil, evil things? Yes, so do I. But Jesus, he have received all the judgment for our sin. But Jesus, he have received all the curse for us. And only thing we have is the grace of God. This place, the lamb was shed its blood. So this blood was covered uh, in the horns of the altar. And this altar, always there is the blood. So whenever you come to the altar, you will see the blood. That blood is for you and me. So whenever we see that blood, we have to remember God doesn't see our shortcoming. God doesn't see our likeness. God doesn't see how weak you are. The only thing God sees is the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, we are all weak. None of us can overcome sin by ourselves. We all come short in the glory of God. That's who we are. You are weak. Great. You have shortcoming. We all do. That's why Jesus came to us and He shed His blood and He covered us with His precious blood. Now, when God sees us, God doesn't see how we are, but He sees the blood of Jesus Christ. When God sees us, we are clean because blood of Jesus washed all our sins. When we look at this flesh, we are weak. We have many shortcomings. But when God sees us, He doesn't see your flesh. He sees the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what God sees through us. And when God sees us, only thing He can give to us is the grace, is the blessing. Today, we are talking about the altar. This altar is made from the shitim wood, and that's acacia tree. That doesn't uh, a really nice uh, tree. That's not really strong tree. That's weak and doesn't have any beauty. Somehow it looks miserable. That's how we are. But God used this uh, shitim tree 
to uh, glorify him. This uh, shittim tree uh, is uh, we also make uh, the altar with the shittim tree. Not only the altar and also the table of the showbread and also the altar of incense and the broad of the tabernacle and even the uh, ark of the covenant. How uh, many, the most of our uh, instruments are uh, in the tabernacle is made from the shittim wood. Yes, that's how God is uh, building his, temp uh, his kingdom. He didn't build his kingdom uh, with the great people or mighty people. But he chose the people, the, such a people uh, weak like us, uh, such a like, uh, foolish like us. And God chose the uh, people who have many shortcomings like us. He chose these people and he used these people mightily and amazingly and gloriously. Today, uh, we have talked about the altar. This altar is made from the shittim wood. But you don't see any shittim wood uh, when you see this altar. Because uh, we have overlaid this with the brass. When God sees us, He sees us like this. God doesn't see how weak we are. But God sees the judgment of God that Jesus has received for us. Do you have altar in your heart? Then you shouldn't look at how you are. Focus on the blood that shed for you. When you see the blood, when you see the cross, we can see the how like we are according to the how God sees us. We are righteous. You are clean as much as snow. We are perfect because of the blood of Jesus that he shed on the cross. If you do have altar, you have to remember you are clean. You don't have sin. It's not because you don't commit any sins. It's because the blood of Jesus Christ washed all your sins away. And that's the only thing God sees through us. Today, what do you focus on? Do you focus on your flesh? Then you cannot help but only fall into the despair. But if you focus on the cross, if you focus on the blood of Jesus Christ that He shed for your sin, then you will see how perfect you are and how clean you are. It's because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And you have perfect condition for God to bless you. Today, we may see how weak you are. It's okay. God already knew it. And then, He washed all our weakness and our shortcoming and our sins with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Today, look upon the blood of Jesus Christ. Then you have perfect condition for God to bless you. If you look upon how you are, you will be disappointed. Uh, what will you look at today? Why don't you look at you according to how God sees you? Then you are righteous. Jesus, he has become our righteousness. Then we are clean as how Jesus is clean. Thank you very much. We will finish up to here today. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to watch our coming sermon, please subscribe.